that's it. All in. And they're off. Jumped over five furlongs for the Group 2 Kazoo Temple Stakes, breaking well Moss Gill, making a beeline for the stand side. A split to two groups here. Coming stand side, Moss Gill came from the Dark Existent and Arecibo. Meanwhile, far side, Last Crusaders up there with the white face ahead of White Lavender, the stable mate of the Black Cap. Alongside Winter Power, the Nunthorpe winner, she's over on the far side. Trapped by the Royal Runner, Kings Lynn, who's in company with Twilight Calls, Red, White and Blue, and Mondam Edge is held up on that far side cluster as well. Already past halfway in the Temple Stakes. To Towards the stand side rails, Moss Gill is right up with the pace. Towards the centre of the trap, Winter Power is over there on the far side. In the middle is came from the dark, Arecibo existent. He's being ridden along, Twilight Calls looking for room far side with Kings Lynn. A furlong to go on the far side, Kings Lynn. Star stand side, Arecibo is right up with the pace too for Ross Orion. But Kings Lynn's going home well, the far side for Probert. Between them, here's Twilight Calls played late. Kings Lynn and Twilight Calls, these two. Twilight Calls, Kings Lynn, Kings Lynn and Twilight Calls. It's a close call between them in the Kazoo Temple Stakes. Three on the day for David Probert and he's taking the, the feature, uh, the Group 2 uh, Kazoo Temple Stakes with Kings Lynn. What, what a class horse he is in his day. He is, isn't he? Uh, he's, a, he's a great horse and uh, I was just saying earlier on, he, he's taking a real good step forward from his chest to run, finding things a little bit sharp and we didn't go overly fast around there and we turned it into a very sharp sprint from a film and a half down and it didn't suit him. But uh, he's, won at, he's won here before. Um, he was able to get a real strong gallop, um, got a nice toe into it behind Winter Power and um, once he fell away I was able to pick up the pieces and he stuck his neck out well at the line and uh, you know, all rose lead to Ascot now. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the year that's in, it'll be special to go to Ascot. And now he's getting a bit of miles in the clock. You know, them top sprinters, and they need a bit of match practice. He's really going to hopefully come to, come to hand. Yeah, he's another year wiser and... Uh, It'd be uh, great if he can uh, get get the job done at Ascot, being the Platinum Jubilee year. Um, he, he's, he's a massive asset to the yard and he's always been consistent at a high level, so uh, he, he deserves it. Just good fast ground, is that what he wants? Um, he, good ground today. Yeah, he, he, he does, he's not really ground dependent. Right. Um, he's run well on all sorts of ground, so um, uh, yeah, he's, he's a very good mover and a strong traveller, so uh, he's got all the signs to be going there um, in good form. A leading all weather jockey, but it's great to continue into the turf season, isn't it? You're flying. Yeah, uh, Neil Allen's done a great job, um, as you know, and uh, got a lot of trainers that yeah. supported me and some great owners behind me also. So, uh, no, delighted to get uh, to, to get it done through the winter and be a uh, champion all weather rider, and uh, i just got to keep the ball rolling and uh, just days like this make, make it special. Yeah. Well done to you as well, well done. Thanks so much, thank you.